Good morning and welcome back to the channel. So today is going to be a very hodgepodge of things going on. Um, this video is probably going to be a little bit longer. Um, I am getting left and right that you guys like the longer videos. So we're probably going to go back to the longer videos. I like doing the longer videos. Y'all like watching the longer videos and YouTube analytics hopefully will kind of catch up with what you guys want. So as long as like the, the watch time matches, you know, um, what you guys are asking for, I don't see a problem with doing the longer videos. So anyway, mosh pit of what's going on in this video. So first of all, I got this thing for Christmas. Oh my gosh, this thing is awesome, but it's in my way right now. So I'm going to move it. Um, that is the, uh, I feel like everything is in my way. Everything just keeps going this way or that way or that way. Or, oh my gosh. I just, I need more space. <laughs> Don't we all? So I have a couple of happy mails. I have two happy mail. Well, I have three things actually. Um, so I have the Christmas cards. Uh, two of them are from the uh, Christmas card swap and Melissa's Facebook group. And then I have two um, hauls, if you will, from YouTube live sales. And if you haven't been to any of those, oh my gosh, they're so fun. You have got to at least just go and experience it because it's a lot of fun. It's very different than like live auctions. It's very different than um, shopping online. It's just, it's, it's a really cool thing. Um, and sometimes you can find really good deals. Sometimes, um, it's just as, you know, if you're going shopping to a regular store, but sometimes you can find really good deals because sometimes people will be doing D stash and, oh, that's another one that I have to show you guys. Um, and all the links for any of the shopping experiences that I share with you guys will be in the description box. I ran across an Etsy shop and she... I don't even know how this happened because I don't buy beads online, but she was doing a D stash and, um, I was just like, what? Uh, so <laughs> anyway, uh, that came in today and I will share that with you guys as well. Um, I'm not stingy. Um, Okay. So I just got a text message, um, from a very good friend of mine. And anyway, so let me go ahead and open these up. This one is from the swap, I believe. Um, so it's a Christmas card swap. I'm going to see if I can't open these and maybe get some use out of the envelopes as well. Um, we'll see. I'm not sure. Because, you know, I need more envelopes, right? That's something I've said, like, never. <laughs> I don't know how I ended up with so many envelopes. I really don't. So this one actually doesn't have a... So this one actually doesn't have an, a name on the address itself. But I believe... Ooh, goodies. <laughs> this one is from... Miss Kelly. Hi. Thank you so much. Oh, I said it like that because I know she's a subscriber of mine as well. That is so cool. And by the way, I love this card. This is really pretty. I am very into like black and whites. Um, oh, I just got a feedback. Woohoo. Um, so, oh my gosh. My, I'm so, I'm so sorry. My Etsy is linked to my watch and it's going crazy right now. It says, wishing you a blessed and healthy Christmas. Aw. Okay. So the card is believe, which I love because I am all about magic and the spirit of magic and what it represents and the healing powers of what you think magic is. It's just, it's so amazing. So I love the fact that this says believe. It says the peacefulness of winter, the closeness of family and friends. Some of the best gifts are held in our hearts, not in our hands. That is so sweet. I love that. Oh my gosh. That is really, really, really sweet. Oh my God. It's a Santa Claus. <laughs> it's a Santa. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Santa. <laughs> and I got some Christmas trees. Oh, these are super cute because I'm not done with my glue book yet. Oh, that is so awesome. And then don't open until December 25th. I'm not waiting until, until next year. So this is going to go in my glue book too. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. And so this next one is also from the swap. And this is how it came in the mail. Interesting. It made it all the way here like that. This is from Miss Patty Davison. And it says, wishing you all the warmth of a Christmas filled with happiness and love. Aw, thank you. And I love that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh, that is so sweet. Okay, so this next one is actually from Miss Laura. And she's got her address here. I don't really care about my address, but um, I just wanted you guys to see the front of this. Like, that is just so cute. I love that. That is so, so cute. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to see if I can't try to, I don't know. I don't know how I, how I can do this because I really want to keep this. My bad. Oh my gosh. Oh my word. Look at that. That is so pretty. Can you guys see this? And she's got stickles. Oh my gosh. I love how you put stickles on the flowers. It says joy is a noun to feel immense pleasure and happiness. I love it. And I love the butterfly. Oh, look at that. It's got like um, like a tail. You know what this reminds me of? It kind of reminds me of a phoenix, actually. Um, the spread of the wings with the tail feathers. Isn't that like, oh, that is so, so cool. And I love the layering effect. The stamping. Oh, this is so, so pretty. Oh, my gosh. This, I believe, is a paper clip. It is. And it's a cute little pocket. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that is so... This is mixed media. This is paint with some stitching and some Mod Podge and some lace. Oh, my gosh, girl. This is so cool. Oh. Oh, girl, thank you so much. Oh, that is so sweet. And I love this paper clip. Look at this. Oh, that is so, so sweet. So that's the front and that's the back. Oh, my gosh, this is so amazing. Oh, I love this. Okay, we're going to. I'm not sure if I'm going to put you in my glue book. <laughs> oh, that is so, so, so cute. Oh, I love this. Okay. So we're going to take this and this is definitely has to be a longer video because I'm already at 10 minutes and I feel like I've opened three cards and talked a lot. See, I need to get into this. Oops. Don't mind me. I'm just throwing stuff around, you know. Anyway, um, I still have the cards from the last uh, little bit. So, yeah, I definitely need to get into this thing. And, boy. Okay, so the next thing came from Miss Kateri. This was a YouTube sale. Uh, I got two other things, but they're kind of on my wall already. But I did want to show you guys this. 
I'm not going to go over the whole bag. Um, this entire bag is full of flowers of various shapes and sizes and colors. Some of them she made, some of them she did not, I think. I don't know. All I know is she said flowers, and I was like, yes, please. Yeah, like this one, I don't think she made these, but these are really cool. Like, I have no idea what this is, but this is really neat. You're stuck. Why are you stuck? Get unstuck. Unstuck yourself. There. Okay. Anyway, those are really cool. No idea what these are. Puddles, maybe? But they're really, really neat. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I know a lot of these are handmade. Like, I'm pretty sure this is one that's handmade. And it, this is made out of book page that she has stained and crinkled and cut up and all that such. Like, do you know the time that it would take to make that? I ain't making that. I'll buy it. I'm not making it. <laughs> that is a lot of time to put into making these. Like, this one is also handmade. Okay, so if they have the brad like that, they're handmade. Like... That is really, really cool. Quite extensive. Pretty sure these are handmade too. Like, that's really, really, really cool. Yeah. Um, so anyway, this thing is ginormous and completely full of flowers. We'll leave that out. If we have time to actually craft, <laughs> that might come in handy. Then again, this whole bag will probably come in handy, so we're going to leave it out too. Well, not open, but we're going to leave it out. All right. So, all right. This is going to be a crazy long video. Okay, so the next thing I actually haven't opened completely yet. Um, so, I got this thing here. Sorry for the crinkle if you don't like it. I personally love the crinkle. I am all about the sounds of paper and plastic and all that hoopla. Um, so this all came from Miss Katie. Her channel name is Katie Tribe of Five. And like I said, I will link that for you guys as well. Um, and I love how she wrapped everything up. Let me zoom you guys out just a smidge because you're zoomed in like. Because I don't remember what we were doing last yesterday. Well, what did we do yesterday? I think we decorated some journal pages, which is really cool because I love journal pages. Can I say that that's like my form of journaling is just decorating the journal because I love doing that. Like how far out can I go? Right there? Okay. Yeah. Otherwise, if I go too much further, y'all are just going to see the mess of my desk. And I know, but I won't see that. Uh, cause it's cray cray right now. Cause I've gotten, I've gotten a lot of orders come in, um, between getting orders in from my shop. Plus, um, when I buy stuff, uh, and I don't have any place to put it immediately, it just kind of goes, all right, yeah. And then stuff like this, I have this one because this one's almost empty, but not empty enough for me to throw it away yet. So, oh, I forgot to show you this. Let me show you this real quick. This was actually a giveaway that I won. Um, and this came from Miss Kateri um, as well. And it's Tim Holtz Ideology. I don't know the paper line. But it was a giveaway. It's not even opened. And this is collage paper. So I want to say that it's similar to... Um, how you use rice paper and napkins but I don't think that it's the same texture as rice paper I think it's a different texture um, I want to say that it's more of like a vellum texture because I've gotten some things from ASC that is um, decoupage paper 
And is it bad that I just want to play with this? Anyway, uh, yep, that's exact. It feels like tissue paper. Yeah, that's exactly what it feels like. It feels like tissue paper. But anyway, isn't that beautiful? And this was a giveaway. Like, what? Dude, that's insane. Anyway, I've never had some Holtz decoupage paper before, but that is my jam, especially right now because I'm fixing to do a whole bunch of spring and Valentine's-y stuff and whatnot. Um, oh, this is kind of cool. I have a doily that's similar to this, but not exactly like this. Uh, mine is a little bit smaller, um, but I like these because you can stamp on them. That's why I like the ones that I have, and that's why I like this one too. Anyway, so there's that one. This came into a bundle. There's this thingy, my bobber. Isn't that pretty? And um, yeah, I'm sorry if thingy or thing or my bobber or doohickey is not appropriate um, for every single term of knowledge that I have no idea what it's called. But um, yeah, my husband reminded me. He's like, you know, you say thingy a lot, right? It's like, yes. <laughs> He's like, okay, it's just, just, you know, just checking to make sure you, uh, you're, you're aware that that is a thing. And I was like, I'm aware. Thanks. <laughs> anyway, I don't know what some of these are called. I think this is just a napkin. There's two of these. Yeah, this is a napkin. Isn't that pretty though? Look at that. It's like a super, super, super pale peach. Like you probably can't even make it out because the coloration on my camera is wonky. So I have two of those. And then I have a giant doily. This one's stained up, which is actually really nice. I like the fact that it's stained. I will probably make it more stained, to be honest with you, but I like the fact that it's stained. You can do a lot with these, especially these big ones like this. I will show you exactly an example um, as soon as I find it. There it is. This is one of the journals that I'm working on currently, and that's what this is. Right here, this is a doily. More specifically, it is this doily. But when you fold it in half and put it on a journal, that's what it looks like. Pretty cool, huh? Anyway, um, I really like using them for that. So, and on top of that, you could also use them on a big journal like this. And I do have another one of these in the works for those of you who are like begging me to sell this one. I'm not selling this one, but I do have another one that is similar. It will be similar, not exactly the same. It won't even be the same colors, but I do have another one coming eventually. It is on the back burner, but it is started. Anyway, there's that. And then this guy's, I have no idea what these are. Not a clue. But they're pretty. And you can chop them up to bits and pieces. No idea what these are. But they're pretty. And that's normally why I buy things. Because they're pretty. Which sometimes gets me into trouble. Okay, so I got this actually for my daughter. Um, this is going to be a birthday present, um, because obviously it's after Christmas. Um, but my youngest daughter is a very girly girl. She is all about the shoes, the jewelry, the makeup, if I ever let her touch it. Um, but that girl does not need makeup. Any of you have seen my youngest daughter? She looks like me and I'm 38. Like... The girl don't need makeup. So anyway, she's all about the handbags and jackets and 
hair accessories and such like that. So I got this one for her. And I'm going to save this if possible because y'all all know that I need more tissue paper. I have so many patterns. And I'm so sorry. I know this is probably pretty loud. Um, but there's another one. So I'll warn you first. This thing is heavy. Oh, a free, a, a free, a sweet friendship refreshes the soul. Proverbs 27, nine. That is really pretty. Today's prayer. I like that. That's really pretty. I'm going to have to find something like this because that's, that's really cool. I like that. It's very springy too. And this is heavy. Like, oh my gosh, this is heavy. Woohoo! Oh, and I got this for $6. Like I said, sometimes you can find really, really amazing deals at these online shops or um, YouTube sales rather. So I have no idea what this is. I don't, I don't know that it's vintage. I don't know that it is um, antique or name brand or anything like that. I got it for my eight-year-old daughter. Uh, she will be nine, January 26th. Can you believe it? So I'm going to set this down here so it's like out of the way. And I will wrap that up after this video. Because she does come in here every once in a while and poke around. Even though she's not supposed to. Um, Alright. Let's see if I can't make some more noise with this stuff. Alright. So I'm going to put this over here. And you ready? Okay. Mute. All good. Okay, so this is another one. Oh, I don't like how that feels. I'm going to have to rip that out of the cover and change the cover. But this one I got for $8. And for one, this thing is super tiny. I love tiny books. And I like them even more when they are, one, not in English. This one... The way that it's written, it looks like it's German. I'll have to ask my buddy. Um, there is not a date on here. But I know it's vintage. I can feel it. There it is. 1816. So this book that's in German from 1816 cost me eight dollar like this is some really really nice paper and it's uh the paper is like it's malleable like it's not gonna break and that's what i like about it okay but i don't like the cover the cover and i are going to not get along very well so i can't touch stuff like this it like um it messes with the nerves in my ears. I don't know what it is. It's like um, kind of like nails on chalkboard to some people. That sound doesn't bother me at all. This touching the surface of this bothers me a great deal. So I love that book though. So it's getting gutted. Just saying. All right. So the next thing I want to show you guys, I'm going to do this super duper quick because I do want to do something other than shop. Well, I'm not sure that's entirely true. I really like shopping, but I think what I meant to say was I want to do something other than show you guys what I bought um, because I know some people don't like haul videos. I personally love haul videos because I'm like, what you got? What's out there? I want to see where I can go shopping. Um, so I got this on Amazon 
and they are actually really cool. Uh, I got these to help organize some of these beads that I got. Um, although these particular, this set, I think I'm just going to leave them as is. But I got these because of, I don't have any on me because um, I put all my bead stuff away. But they, you can get uh, Beads Landing has seed beads that you can get at Joann's or Michael's and they're like in little tubes. Anyway, they are really, really convenient. And um, so I got some more of those. And I have the little stackable shelves. You know how like uh, how I've got my blingy stuff in the stackable uh, click lock, whatever they're, I don't know what they're called. But anyway, these will fit in those very nicely. So that was Amazon. This was D stash stuff. So I got two of these. And I'm going to go through this super duper fast. Okay. All right. And these are all glass beads, except for the metal charms. But like I said, when I found this, I was like, what? Did y'all just hear my neck pop when I did that? Oh my gosh. My neck just cracked like seven times. All right. So there's that one, that one, that one, and that one. But I think I'm going to leave them like this, at least until I cut into them. Because once I cut into them, the string's not going to matter. But right now, they're on a string. Hmm. Actually, I might be able to keep them on the string. The way that the way that it's done, or at least on that one. No, this one I wouldn't be able to. But anyway, so there's those two. Okay, we're gonna go the opposite direction now, and we're gonna start putting stuff back in here because I'm running out of room. I'm so not joking. I have no room on my desk anymore. All right. So we're going to put this back. I'm going to put all this back. And there's no rhyme or reason right now. It's just kind of there. So these are super cool, like, like those, and then those are really pretty because, I mean, everybody knows I need more beads. I can't help it. I don't know which one's worse. Doilies, beads, napkins, lace, paper. I have a problem. It's called crafting. I can't help it. I love these. These, like, look metallic-y. Like, I really don't think y'all are going to be able to pick that up, but those are really cool. All right. So anyway, she is doing a D stash and I am sure she would absolutely love, love, love if you go over to her Etsy shop and start buying some of her stuff. And she's got other stuff on her shop too. Like she makes jewelry, um, which is, I think where all these beads came from, but she's got jewelry on there too. Um, and I am running out of space, even in here, all this came out of here. I know it did. Oh, and that's another one that looks really, really cool. I like that one. I like all of them. Um, so, yeah, like I said, she's doing D stash. So, very, very, very reasonable prices for everything. 
and and then I got a bag full of charms as well. Um, I don't really need charms, but then again, I don't really need beads either. So, ugh. okay. So anyway, now that that's a 30 minute video, that wasn't my intention. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up. And then tomorrow we're going to start working on some actual projects. Um, hopefully. <laughs> So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I will put the links of everyone that I mentioned, um, whether it's a YouTube live sale or whether it's the Etsy shop with the D stash. There are two YouTube live sales and one Etsy D stash. Um, she does have other, um, she does have other items in her shop, but the stuff that I bought was just the D stash stuff. So, um, definitely make sure that you check out these ladies. They're super amazing and they have very reasonably, very reasonable prices. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching and you guys have a very wonderful evening and I will catch you guys all tomorrow. Bye.